people um, depending on your workflow um, some people um, decide to actually block out the color create some some shadows and um, get an overall feel before they start working on the line work um, but for I prefer just starting off with the line work then I can fill the line work um, with color later on it makes my it makes for, I, I feel like the cleaning process is a little bit easier when the line work has already been sorted okay so what I want us to do um, or what I'm gonna do um, it's up to you um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna delete this uh, layer here you guys don't have to do that and I'll create another layer at the top then I'll say uh, clean lines uh, layer so you can name that um, to whatever name convention for you that you can actually identify what it is alright so that's where I'm going to edit my clean lines um, just so I can have more detailed lines um, or more like cleaner looking lines instead of having it with jagged edges so I'll probably start off at the bottom so I want to click on control or command plus just to zoom in so I'm going to use this shoe as my first example then and once you have those basic principles you guys can carry on okay so I'm just going to go on to my uh, my reference layer which is the afterline layer I want to just decrease my opacity just a little bit so I can use it as something that I can trace but it's not um, distracting from what I'm editing so far go back onto my clean layer make sure that's active and for this one um, I want to use like a hard brush so I've already made sure it's a round or hard round brush and that's what I'll use for now and we're gonna be using the pen tool um, so you have this icon here which is your pen tool all the shortcut key is P so I want to change my 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 foreground color to be black, and so my lines are quite dark. So when I'm using the pen tool, um, it will it will um, copy out the size of brush that I actually have. So I want to make sure that I can actually reduce the pen the pen brush or my brush into a brush size that would work nicely. Um, nice and thick accordingly so I'll probably stick with that um, so I'll stick at three maybe okay let me say four so I'll make it a little bit thicker um, four we'll see how that um, how that uh, comes along um, but we'll just leave it as four now so I know that if I use my pen tool my brush is gonna have this kind of thickness so just so I can quickly explain the pen tool I'm going to create a new layer so this is my pen tool that I've just I mean my brush tool which I've just quickly drawn a squiggly line and if I click on P it takes me to the pen tool and what I can do is just click on a section it will have my first handle and click on another section and I can just drag out the handle so as soon as I click I can drag it out to actually create some curves and I can do the same all the way through and it creates a curve form now we want to um, convert this line into um, or this path I'll say into a line so we're going to right click then we want to click on this section where it says stroke path um, on stroke path you can have a selection of tools but since we are using the brush we want to stick with the brush and um, we we will use this simulate pressure but I want to just have an example without the simulated pressure and so we can actually see the difference alright so this simulated pressure would actually be more um, it will try to simulate the pressure sensor tip that you would get on a graphics tablet so this is why that will be selected or checked but we're not going to check that now so I'll just click on OK and you can see that my pen tool has just drawn a simple line. It is much more cleaner, it has more control, um, which is a nice start. Um, but we want to create that um, tapering off effect from the beginning and the end of our line so it looks as if we've drawn it um, neatly. So, I'll, in order for us to achieve that, we want to go back onto our brush tool, which is B. And on our brush tool, there's this icon, um, it's like a round icon with a pen onto it. 
So this is also your um, it, it's your pressure sensor sensor. So we want to click on it to make sure it's active. So if it's grayed out, there's no border. That means it's not active. If we just click on it, it means that now that that pressure that pressure sensitivity simulation is going to be on. Most especially since we are going to be using a mask. So we'll go back onto our brush tool. I mean our pen tool, which is P. Um, then we want to recreate another line, so we'll just click on the handle, draw on it, create another curve, and we'll create another curve. We'll right click on it, we want to click on stroke path. Now the stroke path, we want to make sure that simulate pressure is on, so you can simulate that pressure and it will taper off. So we'll click on OK. And now that you can see there's there's a difference in line, it gives you this nice tapering off effects which can can make your the image look a little bit more cleaner, a little bit more um it, it just gives it another uh, cleaner um uh, look to your to your concept. So this is what we're gonna be using is this um pressure sensitive um simulation because we don't have a tablet at this moment so we want to simulate that um, but of course we're also using this pen tool and um, that's going to be creating our lines for us all right so even if i hide this layer um i want to make sure i'm back onto my clean line layer and i want to just with the settings that i've already preset i want to create a nice curve um, using the image um, behind it as a reference right click it stroke and I'll have a completion like that alright so I'm gonna carry on with this I'll do the whole image this is gonna take a bit of time um, so get on some music get on your your funk your zone being your zen because um, this requires a little bit of patience and um, so I'll let you guys get on with that and I'll speed up the video <laughs> 